So on Tuesday, June 25th, in Itaewon, in the middle of Itaewon, along the sidewalks, was a quote-unquote peace walk by the quote-unquote International Peace Youth Group. But you know who they are? Manam, aka Shincheonji, the cult religious group who always tries to deceive people. Now you might say, what if they're a completely different group, you know? This is International Peace Youth Group, it doesn't say Manam at all. How do you know it's them? Well, take a look at this. Propaganda. That's right, Mani Lee, the leader of Shincheonji. Not only do they revert him in equal measure to Gandhi and Martin Luther King Jr., but he keeps popping up all over the Peace Walk. Yep, it's them again. The last time they had a public event, they organized illegally taking up like Olympic Park and also the Seoul Land Park. There were police everywhere watching these guys. They knew to expect these guys. For some reason, camera crew from Shincheonji was filming the police as if the police were taking part. But no, they were making sure that things didn't get out of hand because Shincheonji is a pretty crazy cult that everyone kind of knows to be wary of. Now you might say, what's wrong with promoting world peace? Well, what is world peace? How are you going to achieve that by walking? walking through a foreigner crowded area. The thing is that all the stuff these guys do is so oddly worded, so bizarre. Look at these dances here. See that sign they're giving, that like the V thing? That's the Shincheonji like hand signal that they always throw up in all their pictures. Notice how they keep doing it throughout the entire dance routine. How weird is that? The marchers are pretty much all Korean and they're holding flags of other countries. What? Why? What does that mean? Like, what are people supposed to gather from that? The reason they do these stunts and they have so many cameramen there is that they just want validation. They want to earn legitimacy. So they hide their name. They keep trying to pull these big stunts to try to get media attention so that people might think that they're actually worth something. But they're not. They're just a religious cult. They claim they want world peace, but they're method of achieving world peace is to have everyone be under the same religion as them. Do you want peace? Yeah. Uh, so, uh, I we want, want peace too. You... What's the name of your organization? Uh, uh, International Peace Youth, peace youth, youth Group. Is this Manam? Um, no, no, no. Now you hear that clip, you hear that they deny being Manam, you hear that they deny that this is a Manam-led event or a Shincheonji event or whatever. Well, look at the link in the bar below. This is a link to a Manam blog where they claim that this Peace Walk was in fact a Manam event. This is the flyer they gave out. Take a look at it. Uh, feel free to pause the video to clearly read what it says here. Uh, like more creepy wording. At the bottom, of course, it credits Man He Lee again. It also credits this new guy who's in charge of this International Peace Youth Group, Do Hyun Kim, who is apparently a Korean from South Africa. South Africa holds a special place for Shincheonji and Manam. In fact, the person who recruited me, or tried to recruit me into Manam was from South Africa, and I actually saw her at the Peace March. We made eye contact briefly, but me and my friend were talking to someone else, and she kind of slunk away to try to avoid us. Like, she looked pretty ashamed to be there. It was pretty funny. Anyway, I'll leave you with this last little interview, or rather, reverse interview. I noticed a photo with uh, Man He Lee. Uh, you don't know? Okay. Yeah. Do you know? Yes, I do. Oh, my I God. do. Can you? Uh, so, in Korea, he's considered to be a uh, Saibi Kyohei leader. Uh, and I think he doesn't want peace. He wants people to join his church. So, I mean, really, everybody likes peace. So, but this kind of event is just to get people to Shincheonji. So I think it's kind of fake.